everyone, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be doing a spoiler-free review for These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, then you know that I'm not really the biggest sci-fi fan. I hardly ever read sci-fi other than like dystopians, but I kind of consider that its own thing. Um, but sci-fi, like actual like in space, alien, all that kind of stuff, sci-fi, I really... I rarely enjoy it and I hardly ever read it because of that. But one of my resolutions for this year was to try and get more into sci-fi and it is April now and I read my first, where is it, my first sci-fi book in March. Uh, so I guess it wasn't going really well with the getting into sci-fi thing at first, but good news is I really really enjoyed this book and it's a sci-fi so Yay! It's the little things that count. But all I knew going into this book and all the synopsis that I'm going to give because I'm not even going to try to synopsize a sci-fi because woo, those are crazy. But all I knew going into this was that it was basically Titanic in space. Which yes, it is Titanic in space, but it is so much more than that. I guess I could give a little bit of, of a synopsis. So this book is told in dual perspective. So first we have the perspective of Lilac, who is the daughter of the richest tycoon who owns the big spaceship called the Icarus that they live on. And then we have Tarver, who is this great decorated soldier? Is that how you say it? He's a really good soldier, so he's really popular because of that, because he's considered to have saved a bunch of lives and stuff. So here's where the Titanic part comes in. When the Icarus goes crashing onto a new planet, Lilac and Tarver end up stuck together and trying to survive on this new planet that they are completely unfamiliar with. And Lilac and Tarver aren't really the fondest of each other. They kind of hate each other, but they are, it seems like, the sole survivors of this wreck, and they have to deal with each other and try to survive together. So the writing of this was really great. Um, I really liked the dual perspective and the little kind of blurb that you got um, before each chapter. I listened to it on audiobook, and I would really recommend the audiobook because I did actually really, really enjoy it. Um, I loved how there were so many symbols in this book, because as an English major, symbols are like my crack. I love them, and I cannot get enough of them. So I just just loved it. I loved that the ship was called the Icarus because like so much mythological symbolism there and I just so many symbols. I just really really appreciated that and the overall writing was really great. I think the dual perspectives really added something to the story and since this was written by two authors sometimes with that you can really tell who wrote what because they're just very very different but these two worked really well and seamlessly together which I really really liked. I really liked the strong and powerful characters in this book. I mean it really only focuses on Tarver and Lilac but Lilac was a really, really just independent, strong woman who don't need no man. And she, despite what her father wants from her and her father's protection, she still tries to get outside of her bubble and make friends for herself and just make this life for herself. And I really, really liked that. I just really liked how she wasn't limited by her father at all. And he's a really powerful man. So I think kind of standing up against him was just really awesome for her. And I also really liked Tarver. He was funny and he was just really enjoyable. He was also strong-minded and strong-willed and they both just really meshed very very well together so I could see how the relationship would work. I really liked the plot. It took a really unexpected turn for me. I loved the Titanic-like aspect of it. I just, I really enjoyed that. And I really, really liked the, um, the whole mystery surrounding the planet because it was kind of like a mystery survival story sci-fi and I really liked all of that kind of combined together. It was like a romance, a sci-fi, a mystery, and a survival story, like all of those things and they just meshed really well together which is kind of unexpected. But the survival aspect of it added a lot to the story because it was constantly a struggle of them against this planet and it's kind of this huge force that they can't really fight against. And they're trying to discover this new planet and figure out what is going on here because there's a bunch of mysterious crap going on 
and I just really liked kind of that whole mystery and trying to figure it out for myself. Now the plot was steady. It wasn't like super fast, but there were a lot of things going on. I did find the ending to be kind of confusing, but I don't know if that's just because I'm not really that big into sci-fi and not that familiar with it, but I did still really, really enjoy this book. So overall, I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars, maybe 4.5. I don't really remember, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. So I would recommend this if you really like sci-fi or you if you are trying to get yourself to like sci-fi, you're trying to get yourself into it. I think this would be a good book to start out with. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!